if you use WordPress, there is a shortcut to going from a brand new empty site into the kind of site you've always wanted with the exact theme you want, with things on the sidebar, with different plugins installed. And if you're not using WordPress, let me show you how to combine WordPress and a tool called Plugin Dashboard to literally create any type of site you want in a few clicks. We're talking a membership site, a podcasting site, an SEO site, and more. We're logged into the back end of our WordPress site, and like I said, WordPress is a tool that you can install on your site for free to easily add content and change the look and feel of your site. And then we're going to combine the plugin we've just purchased from PluginDashboard.com for $17.00, and we've installed it on our blog in the plugins area. You can quickly add your most commonly used plugins to your WordPress dashboard. I'll click to activate the plugin dashboard plugin and then go to the settings area. And if we scroll down, there are checkboxes everywhere for the plugins that you would want to install. And right now we literally have no plugins installed. If I look at the plugin screen, Plugin Dashboard is literally the only plugin we have installed. If I look at the front page of the site, we have no posts yet, and we're using, I believe, the 2016 theme, which is just what appeared to us right out of the box. We can go to Dashboard, Plugin Dashboard, and we can just go and check in, okay, if I want to add custom CSS to my site, if I want to uh, add tables to my site, if I want an SEO plugin on my site, we can just go to each of these categories here, click on save all changes and plugin dashboard will uh, put the different plugins that we selected right there onto our site. And we go back to plugin dashboard here and now if we scroll down we see that these plugins are already checked for us. If we go to the plugins area here then we see that the plugins have been downloaded and installed in just one click. So if you're the kind of person who needs to install a lot of different plugins into your site, well then Plugin Dashboard is the tool that you should use and need to use. So in Plugin Dashboard, we can uh, click and install the individual plugins we want. If we want to have a contact form, check broken links, we can do that. And then there are different groups of plugins. For example, if you're using a WordPress site uh, for a public blog where you want to get traffic from search engines, I highly recommend you click on this SEO blog selection. And now it will check the most common plugins we use for that kind of thing, to have XML sitemaps, to have special kinds of links, to have a plugin called Jetpack. It puts, subscribe to comments, all the uh, regular sites or the regular plugins that we would use on our site. And if we're not sure about some of uh, these different plugins we have, or we're like, okay, well, how do I uh, use W3 Total Cache? If I need a, a caching plugin, you just click on this tutorial button and a video pops up. Well, that one's not on there. WP Super Cache, a video pops up explaining to us how to use WP Super Cache. So we already have the instructions built into this plugin. So we can go just down the list and scroll down, or we can click over on these tabs that does the same thing. So we can, first of all, check on the boxes we want to turn plugins on or off. Then we can go and if we want to upload our own plugins or put in the URLs of specific plugins, we can do that. And finally, we can even uh, change the site to Robert Plank blog. We can set up the, um, the permalinks. We can set a front page on our site. We can change the theme of our site. So maybe I, I like this theme better than the one that's already in there. So we can just make our selections here between the plugins we want on or off, uh, including security plugins, some premium plugins, things like that. We can add in our own plugins and we can set whatever settings for WordPress, including the title of the site, look and feel of the site, and so on. Click on install and uninstall selected plugins. Wait a second and here we go. It's installed the theme that we chose and it's installing all the different plugins that we said we want on the site. Give it just a couple more seconds for it to finish up everything. And there you go in about 10 seconds. It has uh, changed up some of the settings on the site. Uh, we can see now the name of the site has changed to Robert Plank blog. There's all kinds of new things to uh, play around with in the installed plugins here, right? If we look in the, the list, 
there's all kinds of different things. We have a SEO plugin, broken link checker, contact form, custom headers and footers. And imagine how many hours you can now save where you would have had to remember which plugins you use, add them all one at a time. Well, now you can add them all in one go, in one click using plugin dashboard. And see here, it even cleared out the, uh, the built-in default posts and everything for us. Uh, so you use this plugin dashboard tool, which you can get at plugin dashboard.com. And then using plugin dashboard, you can go through our list of recommended plugins. Obviously, don't click every single plugin, but if you want to have uh, an editorial calendar to make it easier for you to uh, plan your posts out, if you want to put in a caching plugin right there so that your site loads faster, if you want to use Google Webmaster Tools, why not add that one in and just click on the different plugins you want to use and uh, click on install selected plugins, change whatever settings you want to make to uh, the WordPress site. So if I wanted to remove my site description, for example, change the theme around to something else that I prefer, then we just do that, click on install and uninstall selected plugins, and then it will make all those changes appear right there in our WordPress site. The tool is called Plugin Dashboard, works with WordPress, with any version of WordPress, and you can use it to add, remove, or customize any groups of plugins and save yourself literally hours of time every time you create a WordPress blog from scratch. I'm Robert Plank from PluginDashboard.com. See you in the download area. Go get it at PluginDashboard.com and thank you.